What's up, guys? Welcome to Slops Locks Home Run Picks Edition. We've got a small slate today, but I still managed to find two gigantic plus money bangers. But before we get to those, I got some bad news for you. We've got no strikeout show today. If, if you've looked at the slate today, you notice there's only a handful of games. And of those games, there just isn't anybody that, like, sticks out to me. As you all know, I'm a psycho bet connoisseur, especially after what Luke Weaver did. Five plus strikeouts, plus 196 last night. No big deal. Looking at the slate tonight, there just is nothing up to our standards. And we need standards in life. Everybody knows that. So... For that reason, we're just doing some dingers. But don't worry, we've got a packed Thunderdome tomorrow with Dead Press Picks back to defend his title after getting lucky as shit last week against me and Eli. Also, though, Austin's Props is joining us for his first ever appearance in the Thunderdome. So there's going to be plenty of strikeout props, plenty of home run bets. It, it, it's going to be psychotic, to be honest with you. I can't wait for that. So make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on. You don't want to miss that show. But now it's time for bangers, guys. Before we talk about tonight's bangers, let's talk about last night's home run props. I had Connor Wong. I saw that game. He did not hit one, although Emmanuel Valdez did hit one, the guy we had the night before. So that sucks. That's the tough part about home run props, guys. Like, like, that just happens. It hurts, but whatever. We were very happy to see Weaver striking guys out like like it was his job during that same game so there is that Valdez did count to the uh strikeout count but still it sucked not seeing Wong hit one then the late night thing kind of happened I got caught up last evening so I didn't even see lines come out and I never bet Taylor Trammell or Greg Allen fortunately for me neither one of those guys hit a home run there was one run scored in that entire game so that game sucks I'm sorry to put you on that uh we wanted a home run but we got a one nothing game that went like 55 innings so Sorry about that. That's not going to happen tonight. I found the perfect game. We're all set. We got nothing to worry about. We're going to start with Matt McLean, plus 575 at Barstool. Everybody knows that Boston is a great place for righties to hit home runs. So we want to find a righty that we think is going to smash tonight. It just makes sense. If anyone fits that description in the Reds lineup, it's Matt McLean, especially against lefties. Going up and down his last at-bats, his exit velocity against lefties is off the charts. I mean, the guy's got 90-plus everywhere. So he's smashing the ball. That's important because tonight he's going to be going against Chris Sale. And Chris Sale is, in fact, left-handed. In his career, he's given up 172 home runs to righties and only 14 to lefties. That's not a ton of home runs given the fact that he's seen a ton of batters. But still, that does tell you that if somebody's going to hit a home run tonight, it's going to be a righty. I think Matt McClain is probably the one that sticks out the most. You want to price shop on these things, though. If there's anything that I can say about home run props, the first, the the very beginning of them is find the right price. I use the odds jam screen to find pretty much everything, and it works for home run props like nothing else. For example, Caesars has this at plus 410 right now. At BetMGM, it's plus 475. You cannot be loyal to these books and eat that kind of a price difference. That's just ridiculous. So for that reason, you want to join every book you can in your area and get the best possible price. Plus 575 is not even the same bet as plus 410. It's not even remotely close. So there's my lecture for today. Do that. Next, we're going to go to the same lineup and we're going to do Spencer Steer plus 600 at DraftKings. Here's the thing with this. I'm doing the thing where I pick two guys from the same lineup If one pops, we make cash. We've all taken one guy from a lineup. We've liked two or three. We take one, and then the other one we liked hits a home run while the guy we bet didn't hit a home run. We would have made money if we just would have taken both of them, but I don't know. Something's wrong with our brains. We just only take one. Here's the thing. We're not doing that today. We're going to take Spencer. It's another same thing as McLean. The guy has been smashing baseballs thrown to him by lefties. We're talking multiple 100-plus exit velocity at-bats. Fenway Park is perfect for him. He just hit a home run there last night. If you're scared about taking a guy that just hit a home run last night, don't be. This happens all the time. He's hit actually two in his last three games, so he's basically on a heater right now. I don't have a problem saying the guy's going to hit home runs in consecutive games. Again, that happens all the time. Home runs come in bunches. Everybody knows that. At plus 600, I think this is kind of a steal. We can definitely bet it now because... At DraftKings, if the guy doesn't start, the bet doesn't count. So if he's not in the lineup, we don't have to worry about him pinch hitting in the ninth, nothing like that. I think this is a definitely a great bet, especially against Sale, steer profile as well. If we want to go with a third guy, 
from this lineup, which mathematically makes sense, Luke Molly. But here's the thing. There's no price on him yet. He's not priced anywhere on the planet, so we'll have to wait for him to be in the lineup before we get a price on him. Thing is, this show will be over by then, so you're going to be on your own for that one. If you want to know if I bet it or not, follow me at Pickett. Pickett's a bet tracking app. It's synced to all my sports books. It's easy to download too. It's free to use. In fact, if you download it right now, sign up using promo code SLOPSLOCKS, they'll give you cash to do it. That's crazy. Nobody gives you cash for nothing either. I'll see you guys tomorrow.